Karen, that was great. Tell me, how long have you? Well, how long is it since you first made the first record as Tears Go By? About six months ago. What was the story behind it? You know, how did it all start? And so on? I met Andrew Oldham at a party. Hmm. He asked me if I'd like to make a record because he thought I had a face that could sell. And what did you think? I thought, this is fine. Perhaps I have. Let's sell it. Had you, had you, <laughs> had you sung before? No, no, just folk singing. Not at all? Folk singing, you know, hmm. around. And uh, how do you enjoy it, sort of now? I mean, you had a big success with that. How do you enjoy the... I love it now. I didn't at first, but I'm beginning to be able to do things by myself and know what's happening. I love it. You're going to go on and make more records and travel and make I personal think appearances? So. I want well. to act very much. This is my special thing. But, um, but continue I like with the... Records. Yeah. Well, I think it's great. I, I love the way you put them over, and I like the records too. Oh, thank you. I hope you have a lot of success, and thanks very much for doing this. Thank you. Enjoyed it. Thank you. Well, that's all from us in London, Hullabaloo. Look forward to seeing you again next week from Marion and myself. Goodbye. How did it all begin, Marianne? Well, I went to a party and there were lots of famous people there. The Rolling Stones were there and Millie and the Crystal and all these people. And can she sing, see? And he said, well, I shouldn't think so, but she's all right. Marianne Faithful says she's given up the pop game. Just to prove it, she got a straight acting part in a Chekhov play at the Royal Court Theatre in London. It's always what I wanted to do, but nobody um, really can take it seriously when you're a pop singer. <laughs> which is suited to you, and that's what you use to meditate. You can't tell anybody what it is. You just concentrate about anything? No, you don't have to concentrate. It, it's, it works on a, on a basis of non-strain. It's absolutely natural. The same process which, which makes people want to go out and meet people and dance and be happy, um, which is looking for happiness outwardly. The same thing brings us inward to look inward. It's very simple. Do you think everybody can meditate? Absolutely. And um, if we're to do anything about the way everything is, they really must try and get it together. Because uh, it really can help. All religions have always taught that, and Christ said, you know, that you must put your own house in order first. And societies and nations are only made up of the people in them. And people have forgotten how powerful they are in that way. They, they're too conditioned. They, they've been given so much propaganda over the last hundred years. They, they've forgotten the dignity of being human and what they can do if they try with their mind. <laughs>